Hello, this is Kevin with 3G Store, and today we're going to take a look at the new Surf Soho Mark III, its Wi-Fi WAN, and its use cases and speed. One use for Wi-Fi as WAN is in an RV park. Say you're staying all the way back here. There's Wi-Fi offered from the RV park, but it doesn't reach you. With a Wi-Fi WAN router in place, you can pick up that existing signal and then create a secure private network for your RV and devices. Wi-Fi as WAN can also be used as a backup internet connection in a home or an office. We have our wired internet connection coming into the Surf Soho, and the Soho is then connecting devices wirelessly and wired throughout the office. If our wired internet connection was to drop, everything in the office would lose its internet connection. A simple solution would be to enable the hotspot mode on a phone, and the Wi-Fi WAN of the Surf Soho can pick up on that. Now all of the wired and wireless devices are still connected to the Soho, you don't have to go through lengthy changes of switching devices or networks, and you're back online within a few seconds. Now we're going to do a real world demonstration of the Surf Soho Mark III. We have the Soho Mark III connected only to power, there is no wired internet connection, and we'll use its Wi-Fi WAN to pick up on our host network. Our phone here is connected to the Soho Mark III, and we'll go ahead and do some speed testing. We'll pull up the display on the phone so you can see that we are connected to the Soho Mark III network, and we'll run a speed test. Now remember, this phone is connected wirelessly to the Surf Soho, and the Surf Soho is connected wirelessly to our warehouse network. The first thing you'll notice is the latency is very good at 46 milliseconds, meaning we're not getting any additional latency by going through the Soho. Download speeds are at 55.75 megabits per second, which is a very respectable speed. And it looks like our upload speeds will be at 11.65 megabits per second. So now that we have seen the speed that we can achieve through Wi-Fi WAN on the Surf Soho, we'll now take the phone and connect it directly to the host network, which is our warehouse Wi-Fi. Now we're bypassing the Soho, and we're going to test and see if there is a difference in performance or speed. A lot of concerns have come up with Wi-Fi WAN in the past, and that there is some speed loss. Now depending on the network you're connecting to and how far you are from it, you'll see some speed loss on the Wi-Fi WAN, but with the Soho Mark III, you'll notice its performance is superior to other devices that are available. First thing that you'll notice is the Latency is the exact same as it was through the Soho, meaning that the Soho was not introducing any type of slowdown. Our download speed is 56.45 megabits per second, just over what it was with the Soho, so we saw about one megabit per second of loss, and the upload speed is 11.78, so less than one megabit per second of loss on the upload as well. With that test complete, we can see the Surf Soho Mark III can use its Wi-Fi WAN connection as either a primary or a backup connection reliably and with high performance. For more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to our channel, and for more information, visit 3gstore.com slash surfsoho. Thank you.